So welcome to video nine in the series of 12 guaranteed ways to create a disloyal, disheartened and disengaged team and watch your business die a slow, painful death. Today, we're going to talk about how not to collaborate and how not to co-create. So collaboration. Basically, if you don't want to collaborate, then you've got two main choices. You can either be too independent. So that's creating a mindset and belief system and a behavioral uh, code where you do everything your way. You don't, you feel and you show you don't need anyone else's input. You don't need anyone else's help. You don't need anyone else's ideas because your way is always the right way. It's my way or the highway. The opposite, which is also quite effective at creating low levels of collaboration and a toxic work environment, is to be too dependent on others. So in order to do that, you need to have really low self-esteem. If you saw my video uh, number five in this series about feedback culture, you'll have got some really good tips on how to crush self-esteem so people feel really low about themselves at work. And once you've done that, um, then you become really dependent. So you have low confidence in your own ideas or suggestions or ways of doing things. And you just agree with everyone else and follow their way because you're totally dependent on them, basically. You, 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 you're worthless without their help and support. And if you develop one of those two strategies or you can mix them if you want, you'll be really ineffective at collaborating or alternative you could do the opposite and you could develop and create an environment based on interdependence which is a philosophy and a behavior one plus one equals four we together as a team can create much more than each of us working individually or being too dependent on each other but it's your choice and then on to the other thing, co-creation. Truly effective teams, they have a sense of ownership when new ideas and uh, solutions are being generated. And everyone co-creates. Everyone feels that they're listened to and their ideas are valued. So if you don't want to do that, dismiss people's ideas, uh, be very negative about them, Make sure in your team meetings, you've got one or two dominant people that do pretty much all of the talking and make sure you've got a few passive people who never really speak up or share their opinions. So there's a really low sense of co-creation and collaboration in the team. I'm off, I'm off to do the opposite of that. But as always, it's your choice. How about you?